Hello and welcome to Elephant English Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about adopting pets. The first question is how many pets do you think we have adopted over the years? Wow, that's very difficult to say. <laughs> Officially, I think we've adopted about six pets. What do you mean by officially? I mean that officially we went to、um, a registered adoption agency, or like the dog pound, to adopt a pet. But unofficially, we have adopted many more pets. Yeah, like when people have moved away and they didn't know what to do with their pets, they decided to give the pets to us. Yes. Um, that happened on many occasion with、um, rabbits and guinea pigs and birds and terrapins and terrapins、well. and fish. I think one of the the reasons as well was that before they used to give the pets away at fairs. So if you went to the fair and you played a game, your prize was a fish or a terrapin. And then, when those people got home, they realised that it was a big problem because they had to keep these pets forever. Yeah, or they got home and their parents wouldn't let them keep the pets. I remember we used to have a terrapin, and somebody won him at a fair, and we kept him for about was it twelve years? Yes. Yeah, about twelve years, and. If if somebody had won the terrapin at a fair, they would have had to keep him for all of those years. So I think it's quite irresponsible of the people that had them at the fair. Yeah, that's true because sometimes the children were too young to own a pet or to take care of a pet, and we've heard a lot of stories of people winning the terrapins and then they got lost in the house and they never found them again. I think l- luckily now、um, it's been banned, so nowadays you can't win a terrapin or a fish at a fair. So I think that's that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's very good. The next question is, which pets did we officially adopt? We have officially adopted one cat and. Ooh, one dog.、And、one dog. Yeah, <laughs> only yeah, two. Yeah, and the、That's、rest six. The rest have just <laughs> just appeared. I remember we've got the cat that I have now appeared in our house, didn't she? Yes. One morning she appeared in the garden. We weren't going to keep her, but then she decided she would live with us. I remember when I came home from school one afternoon.、Uh, on the journey home, you said, "Oh, we have a new pet." And it was a cat. And then when we got home, the cat was laying on the bed, and I think she had decided to stay with us forever. Yes, she decided to stay. We didn't decide to keep her. She decided that she was staying with us. Cats are very independent, and I think they take their own decisions. Right. The next question is: Which do you think is the best pet, cats or dogs? I think that both. Are good in their own ways because a, with a cat they're very independent and you don't have to take them for walks.、Um, but with a dog, gives you more companionship and a dog loves you more, and you get good exercise taking the dog f- for the walk. Don't don't you think that my cat loves me then? No. No. Sometimes I really think she does love me. No. Cats only think that. You will feed them. They don't love you from their heart, but a dog loves you because you can see how they look at you. They they love you. But it is a lot easier to have a cat because, for example, we can go out for a day, and we know that we don't have to come back home to take them for a walk. So I think it just depends on your lifestyle, which is the best pet. Yeah, that's true. Some people have a house rabbit. And they think that's the best pet because you can keep it in its cage in the garden or in your house. Yeah, and maybe if you haven't got so much time, it doesn't need as much love and attention as a dog. I think if you left a dog on its own, the dog misses you a lot, 
and it would get lonely. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think that a rabbit has those emotions or attachment to you. Yeah. Okay, the next question is, which do you think is the worst pet to have? Anything that you wouldn't normally call a pet, like a lizard or a snake or a spider, anything that isn't furry. Do you think that's because you've never had those pets? Possibly, but I think that how they look just puts me off. What about, for example, an iguana? No, I wouldn't like handling them. I would have to have a fluffy pet. But we've had a lot of turtles and terrapins. Yeah, but I didn't pick them up and cuddle them. Yeah. So they were just like there in the garden. We fed mm. them. We looked after yeah, them. Yeah, they didn't spend time with they're them. They're not emotional support. Are no, they? no, not like a dog. Mm. Okay. The next question is: What do you think are the advantages of adopting a pet rather than buying one? I think that people like to adopt a pet because they are rescuing them from an otherwise boring life in a shelter. So by adopting a pet, you are giving them a good home that they will enjoy. Yeah, and I think one thing that a lot of people don't think about is that when you adopt a pet, you're also giving like another space for another dog to be adopted. So for example, with our dog, if we hadn't adopted that dog, there wouldn't have been space to save another dog in the dog shelter because they only have a limited amount of dogs that they can keep. So basically, you're saving the life of two dogs. Mm, that's true. That's true. But, but when you buy a dog from a pet shop, it can be very expensive. Yeah, and you don't know where it has come from. But it is true that there are some difficulties when you try to adopt a dog because I have a lot of friends that live in a flat, for example, and the animal shelters have come to look at their house to see if it is suitable for a dog and their applications have been rejected. The reality is that when you go and adopt a dog, it's very hard to find one if you live in a flat or like in your case? Yes, a friend of mine tried very hard to adopt a dog, but when you fill in the form, it says, have you got a garden? And they had to put, no, they haven't got a garden because they live on a boat. But in fact, they have access to miles and miles of countryside and more access to public footpaths and parks than most other people do. But because they had to tick the box of, no, I haven't got a garden, then they weren't allowed to adopt a dog. So in the end, they had to buy a dog, a puppy, which wasn't what they wanted to do. Yeah, so I think that's what you're worried about in the future. When you want to have a dog, when you live on a boat, you think that you will have that problem as well. Yes, because the dog shelters have to come and do a home visit to see that it's suitable. And on the websites, it says you must have a fenced garden uh, with a four foot or six foot fence. Well, when we're on the boat, we won't have any official garden, but we will have access to as much countryside as we want to. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.